Hello everyone, I'm Becky Goldsmith with Piece of Cake and I want to make a bed quilt. The reason I want to make a bed quilt, all right, let me back it up. I don't want to make a bed quilt, but I need to make a bed quilt because I have on my bed this beautiful modern-ish light gray bedspread and I also have in my house my granddaughter's Cocker Spaniel, and I have two cats, and it has become obvious that my light gray bedspread and the animals do not mix. So I need to make a bed quilt. And, and with that is the fact that, did you know there's going to be a Barbie movie? <laughs> I was never that into Barbie as a kid, but the idea of the Barbie movie is very exciting to me. I don't even know why. And then there was this article in the New York Times, and it showed all the fun things you can do with Barbie Pink. Okay, can I just also say, I've never really been a fan of Barbie Pink, but all of a sudden, I really love this color. So, I want to make a quilt that has this color, and knowing that it's not my all-time favorite color, and knowing that the animals are going to get on the bed quilt, and you know, they they might not mix particularly well for the long term. So the quilt might not last forever. Well, okay, those, those things all work together. But since I want to make a quilt with the Barbie pink, I got the Barbie pink and I found the pattern I want to use. I want to make nosegay blocks. I have loved this block forever and I've never really made it into anything. So I want to make nosegay blocks, and I'm going to make them big, about 20 inches square. I don't think 24 inches square, but, you know, I'll get back to you on that. But about 20 inches square, if I do four across by five down, that's 80 by 100. That's a good size quilt. And I'm going to measure the bed. It may be that I can just do four by four, <laughs> which is even better. Okay. So I'm going to use this Barbie pink for the cone on the nosegay. And then I decided that I wanted a paler pink as the background behind the flowers. Now, what I'm gonna use for the flowers are mostly Kaif facet prints. And just so you know, I'm going to have some fat quarter bundles uh, K Facet Classic Fat Quarter Bundles in this shop. If they aren't there already, they should be there soon or soon-ish. I'm also going to mix in some of the tilde fabrics. And those of you who shopped the site and bought some of these tilde fabrics and you haven't exactly known what to use them for, I think they'll be nice in the nosegay too. Now, why am I telling you this? I'm telling you this because I am at heart a teacher. And the nosegay pattern, there's some interesting construction details that I would be happy to share with you. I'm going to share them with you. It is also true that I don't actually want to write out a big pattern and instructions and photographs and how-tos. I don't want to do that. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to record two to four, as many as it takes, videos. Um, that explain how to make the quilt. I will write just enough instructions that include yardage and, and the number of things you have to cut and the sizes. And the reason I'm going to do that is because I've got to calculate it anyway. I may as well share that with you, right? And I will share with you the pattern. So the pattern in the instructions will be free. Um, the, the videos I'm going to share these with you for free. You are welcome to join me and make a quilt yourself. I am going to sew mine on the machine because I need it done quicker. But you could also hand piece this and it would be super fun and it probably wouldn't take that much longer than it will take me to sew it by machine. Well, no, that's not true. It'll take you some longer, but not a huge amount longer. If you're not in a rush because you don't have a reason to need the quilt right away, you can take your time and hand piece it. To prepare for this, I'm warning you what's coming. Um, I bought 
four yards of the Barbie pink. I probably bought at least two yards too much, but four yards is what was on the bolt, and I figured I could use the rest of it for something maybe on the back of the quilt. So buy whatever fabric you want for the cone, and while I am keeping the same fabric throughout, you could use a variety of fabrics for your cones. And then you'll want your background. I think I bought four yards of the background too, which is again, I'm sure, way more than I need. Eventually, when I get my fabric cut, I will let you know in the instructions that I write how much I actually used. But if you're hearing this now and you want to get your fabric and get ready with me, this is what I've bought. And then as far as the fabrics for the cones, I've just got a whole bunch of fat quarters and that's what I'm gonna cut mine from. Um, I'm sorry, the, the fabrics for the flowers, if I didn't say that right. One moment, I've gotta let the dog in. I'm back. <laughs> the dogs, the cats, they come in and out. Uh, so I'm recording this on July 9th. I think the first video will go up in the first how-to video in three to four weeks. So you've got plenty of time to catch up with me. I expect it to be early August. And once I get sewing, then I'll be able to tell you about how often they'll come up. But I want to get this pieced maybe by the end of August, certainly by not too far into September. If you happen to be watching this video well past the time when I've made it, well then you can just blaze right on through and watch all of them and, and you won't have to wait for anything. But for those of you who are watching right now, this is the plan. I hope you want to join me. I look forward to seeing you in the first live timeout session. I will post those dates in my newsletter at peaceocake.com. You'll find my website, the shop, and you'll find the link to sign up for the newsletter if you have not already done so. I look forward to seeing you soon. Thanks for watching.